currently in the new daily. So yeah, guys, finally got a daily. Next video, we'll be showing that and talking about that. And uh, I've been home since, well, I've been home since like the fifth or sixth. And I gotta tell you guys, like, I feel so good. The stuff I've been able to get accomplished has been unreal guys every day i have time to take care of the things i need to do but today's video pretty much going to talk real quick this is going to be my last trucking video my last talk about trucking for a bit um and then i'll fill you in on on what i'm what i'm doing next today we're going to talk about why i left otr trucking why i left rail transport so let's dive right into it and uh let's get in today's vlog so it has been a fast crazy two years guys i can't believe i hit two years my goal was to stay trucking for two to four years still not done with trucking yet guys i just obviously had to cut my time short with where i was at just being home spending time with the boys hanging out with my girlfriend like being able to like cook meals at in a house and hit the gym i hit the gym like you know three four times in the past few days and i feel like like it feels good guys also being able to visit one of my favorite spots look at this guys water is mad high right now guys like sheesh it's crazy schedule is crazy I'm taking time off for my mental health that make a long story short I'm taking time off for my mental health um, I just I want to be happy and I feel like my happiness is being affected so that's that's for starters I was able to make I made a good amount of money and I was able to save a good amount of money that's one positive thing about trucking guys is like when you're on the road if you're smart with your money you can stack up cash super fast and it's pretty easy because you're not really blowing a lot of money monday through saturday you're out on the road um so you don't have time to go out to restaurants and you know drive around in your personal vehicle to spend fuel like i am now <laughs> but it just it wasn't working at rail um I want to I want to give a shout out to my fleet managers though. I will truly miss my fleet manager. Shout out Cody. Shout out Dean. If you guys are watching this, awesome fleet managers, guys. Like one thing I'll say about Rail, they awesome people. Good communication, nice. Um, try to work with you and stuff. The home time was just affecting me, and it just I had to I had to keep my options open. Nothing seemed to really be changing too much, and it wasn't guaranteed that I'd be home at the same time every weekend. So I had to keep my options open. That's, that's, you know, make a long story short. Started feeling like, and I'm not pulling any fingers, but I started feeling like my home time didn't matter, right? I was just a robot or a piece of meat in the seat, just running, running and running and running, right? Missed a lot of plans, missed a lot of Saturdays. Um, I'm not gonna get into full details. Everybody leaves for a reason. I'm just expressing the reason why I left. I sacrificed, looking back at it, I sacrificed a lot of time. I sacrificed a lot of time for money. It's nobody's fault but my own, right? But I wanted to experience it. I got a taste of how it is and I just, I don't know, I wasn't okay with trading my full days away for a paycheck like I wasn't even enjoying my money anyways I had to make a plan out I had to make a I had to make an escape route so that's what I did anybody who was wondering anybody who was getting their CDL I'm not even saying that I wouldn't go back to rail I would just choose a different probably a different fleet right because that would be my only option anyways um, rails a great place to work it's perfect for the right person. They're steady, I will say steady paychecks, guys. They always made sure I was paid um, my paychecks, at least. I never missed a paycheck. In terms of missing detention pay and other things, I'm not gonna go into details with that. It's a comfortable place to be. 
it's a reliable place to be. Reliable loads, reliable paychecks. So now that I left, I left trucking. I'm taking time. I'm doing a reset for myself. Like I had to take a leap of faith because the paychecks were pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Like, so for me to just cut that all out was it took some courage. Um, <clears throat> but I had to make I had to make a plan out, guys. I had to make an escape route, and that's what I did. So I, you know, I'm not gonna. I won't go into full details, but I, I'm willing to help you guys out. I actually I want to make a vid on, you know how to help you guys plan if you don't like your jobs if you want to get into something else i'm sure i'm not the only one here i'm sure there's plenty of you guys a lot of people commented on my last videos like trucking vids like dude i'm in the same boat here and that so i want to help you guys out um for anybody who's for anybody who's considering changing their jobs whether it's you know whether i'm motivating you whether i'm you know educating you with financial advice you know making a plan I want to do all that stuff for you. So I'm going to make a video on how I quit, quit my job with, with no plan B, guys. I didn't even have a job lined up. Guys, I've been able to, you know, wrench and work on my cars. I'm working on my new daily, getting this thing up, up to par and stuff. And I've been able to work on my Civic Si stripping down one trying to get the other going i'll actually uh leave a leave a picture in the next slide but yeah i've been focusing on myself guys diet um you know gym spending time with my girl my friends and it feels good like i feel i feel pretty good now am i done with trucking no i'm not done with trucking but i need to find an opportunity that's going to better suit me in terms of you know what i'm looking for i know what i want for days off i'm not trying to run nights etc so the only thing that sucks i will say is i was in the process of a mortgage and now that's kind of like paused so but as soon as i start a new job i am my mortgage i'm, I'm going through with a mortgage and that's going to be a whole ordeal guys so i'll get to updating you guys on that but i hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> a few other things i'm just going to throw this out there and if anybody has comments just leave them down below if you have any questions for me just drop your comments down below make sure you guys like this video but you know another reason another few reasons why i left rail is i got tired of the you know the truck speeds like you know 65 governed when you're in a 70 mile per hour zone you just it was hard to make miles at that rate um you know the cameras facing you the the sensors on the truck it just got stressful driving those things sometimes heavy freight so those are just a couple things i'm going to throw out there guys my experience my opinion only um i'm not saying the play i'm not saying real socks uh discrediting them or anything because they took care of me for two years they paid me my last checks i got my vacation paid cashed out everything that they said they were going to do they took care of me so i will say that they are great in that sense but i hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm just gonna lay low for the day guys probably go get some lunch and uh enjoy my time off so i'll see you guys soon i am I do have wrenching videos coming for my Civic Si, so definitely stay tuned for that, guys. I know I've been dragging out the process, but it's going to be worth it, guys. It's going to be so fun, so I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.